A senior at Ringling College of Art and Design uses his thesis to pay tribute to an iconic local hotspot. SNN's Kelly Rittenauer has the story. Joe Lipstein is a senior at Ringling College of Art and Design studying film. He was also a regular at Big E's Cafe in Sarasota. Maybe uh, I thought if I released in time it could help save Big E's. In a short documentary, Lipstein highlights the uniqueness of Big E's and what he calls home to all. It's a lot about family, it's a lot about community and having a place that you can go and feel comfortable. Owner Eric Hamilton opened Big E's nearly 12 years ago. He says in an excerpt from the documentary, it was always about the people. I was hoping it would be like the cheers of coffee shops, and then I was hoping also that it would be somewhat successful so that I could be paying my bills. The money part never really came about, but part of that, I mean, it's really my fault because I've always wanted to treat people better than I treat myself. So money-wise, I always tried to make the prices more than fair. Well, there you could sleep there, you could eat there, you could play games, you could do whatever and, you know, hang out for as long as you want. But the struggle to keep the lights on was all too real. The owner, Eric Hamilton, had to work for Starbucks in order to keep, keep Big E's alive. Starbucks caught wind of him owning Big E's and they said, you know, this is sort of a conflict of interest, owning a coffee shop working for us. and. You know, Big E's was sort of on the decline because the landlord was raising rent as well, so it was really a, a choice of his. A choice that Lipstein says couldn't go undocumented. I just enjoyed having the memories of it and, you know, capturing it on film, but having the memory of being there behind the camera, you know, watching as, like, Big E's was torn down the last night and, you know, uh, hearing people open up, and that's really special, too. Reporting in Sarasota, Kelly Rittenauer, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. You can find the link to the entire short documentary. We've got to see little clips of it there on our website. Just go to snntv.com.